in Tennessee, but although the Huskers were far from home, the fans came together to send their support. Reporter Nick Starling caught up with some of the Big Red fans with their outlook on the game and the Huskers season. Nick? Yeah, Emily Megan, we're out back out here at Eddie's Sports Bar and Grill in Millard, where all the eyes are glued to the TVs as we tick down in the final minutes of the game here in the fourth quarter as it's been back and forth between Tennessee and Nebraska. But at the beginning of the game, some fans tell me it was a little bit of a yawner kind of a game because it was 0-0 at the first uh, quarter of the game. Then Nebraska came back, but then Tennessee took over. We talked with many fans here. We knew this game was an uphill battle because a lot of the starters were down. It really hurt to not have a lot of our key players in the game, so uh, we're missing, you know, obviously Tommy Armstrong and, you know, Westerkamp, and so it kind of knew we were up against it coming in. Uh, our defense looks really good. Our offense is struggling. They're going to make a game of it. It's going to happen. They are going to make a game of it, no matter what. See, that's why Nebraska fans don't care. It doesn't matter. They're going to go anywhere, no matter what. It doesn't matter. Look at that. That's unbelievable. It's going to be a game. It's going to be a game. We interviewed that fan right after the Huskers scored their first touchdown. And every time the Huskers score, obviously this place is cheering, erupting. But as we take down to the final moments here, uh, there's only about five minutes left in the game. And Nebraska has to come back quite a big uh, few touchdowns here to win the game. But uh, we'll send it back to you guys. We're live at Addy's Sports Bar and Grill. Next to our line came to the action. Excuse me.